What are you looking for next week from the trade talks? Uh, obviously, I'd rather they go well than not go well. But I just think what we learned from manufacturing, as I said before, is is I think the confidence that we have a coherent policy that it can't just change on a dime is is there not to mention i don't want to talk politics here but the impeachment talks and who's who's going to be the president uh who's what's going to happen in the election in 2020 is is going to weigh on just the uncertainty does not put well for people making long-term decisions oksana not expecting much of anything at all. It's going to be a continuation of the current kind of two, one step, you know, forward, two steps back. Um, there's really no incentive, um, I think, on the part of the Chinese to do anything more here. So um, focus on the economic data, and that's what's going to drive the markets. Lisa Holmby, your take. Uh, I wish that I could say something that hasn't already been said by these two, but, um, you know, it, Obviously, we want something positive to come out, but we, we notice that whenever something positive comes out, we get something bad. Last week, it was ca restricting capital flows into China. So I don't have particularly high hopes. I think that if something definitive and concrete, maybe a mini deal did come out of it, that would be tremendous for markets. A mini deal ahead of potentially more tariffs in the middle of October. Do you think those tariffs in the middle of October are avoidable at this point? You know, we've seen that anything is possible, right? There was the time the, a few months back where we were talking about putting tariffs on, on Mexico, and then over the weekend, it was going to happen on a Monday, yep. and they got rolled back on Friday, I think it was. So certainly anything is possible up to the last minute. I think that the president is trying to use these various negotiating tactics. I think he feels that he's in a more perilous spot, given the impeachment talks and given the fact that what the one main thing he's had is a very strong economy. I think that there's starting to be some recognition that things are slowing a bit, and I, th I think that you're hearing a little bit more of that out of the White House, which could potentially mean that they're more willing to do some kind of a mini deal to say we've done something and stop the, the investment lead that we've seen this year.